The truth about singer Dean Kwon Heek, Kwon Heek, born November 10, 1992, better known by his stage name Dean, is a South Korean alternative R&B singer-songwriter and record producer. He has released one solo EP, 130 Mood, TRBL, as well as multiple collaborations with both American and South Korean artists. Life and Career Early Life and Career Kwon Heek was born and raised in Hongundong, Seoul. He developed an interest in American hip-hop and rap in middle school, and began singing in high school. At that time, he considered music as an escape from studying, rather than an occupation. He initially wrote songs in his room, which he kept secret from his parents at first. Although he was the first musician in his family, his parents enjoyed music and supported his decision to become an artist. He began his career at the age of 16 performing with hip-hop artist Keith 8 by 18, he was writing tracks for K-pop stars, under the name Deanfluenza. The name originated from actor James Dean, whose rebellious image appealed to him, and the word influenza, signifying his desire to make a viral impact on the music industry. At the age of 20, he was under the tutelage of Joomla's music group CEO and producer Heek Shin employed with the songwriting team of the Los Angeles-based company whose works include EXO's Growl and Justin Bieber's One Less Lonely Girl. He was credited on tracks including EXO's Black Pearl and VIXX's Voodoo Doll. 2015, U.S. and South Korean debut, Dean debuted in the United States in July 2015 with the single I'm Not Sorry, featuring Grammy winner Eric Bellinger. This set him apart from other Korean singers who had collaborated with American artists the vast majority of which began their careers in Korea. Fact UK magazine's Claire Lowenfeld subsequently referred to his work with Bellinger, when listing him as an R&B artist to watch for in 2016, noting that artists like Justin Bieber and Chris Brown had also worked with Bellinger. That year, he also collaborated with Myla J on Here and Now and Anderson Park on Put My Hands on You. He debuted in South Korea in October that year, and his second single Pour Up featuring Block B's rapper Zico, was named Best R&B and Soul Song at the Korean Music Awards on February 29, 2016. He also collaborated with Korean hip-hop artists Zion T, Crush, and Jungabo on the single 247, Doc 2 on I Love It, and Dynamic Duo on How You Doin'. 2016, SXSW, first EP 130 Mood, TRBL and Mama, on January 8. He performed Pour Up and I'm Not Sorry on Yuhi Yeol's sketchbook. In the same month, he released the single, What To Do, featuring Crush and Filipino-American singer Jeff Burnett, and appeared on the JTBC show 2U Project Sugar Man as a producer, arranging a well-received version of the Mo song, It's Love for a Performance by Icon. In March, he appeared for the second time on 2U Project Sugar Man, this time arranging Hayes G-Team for winner members. He also became the first Asian artist to perform at Spotify House at SXSW, alongside international artists including Miguel and CHVRCHES. U.S. magazine Spin wrote that the Bryson Tiller indebted youngster, and recent Universal Signee, had some attendees comparing him to a young usher. Vibe commented that he had a smooth sound that reminds you of 90s era usher to this year's Bryson Tiller flow. He additionally performed at the Hypetric stage and at SXSW's K-Pop Night Out. On March 25, he released his first EP 130 Mood, TRBL, which he wrote and produced with collaborators, with several of the tracks previously released as singles. The EP charted at number 10 on the Gion Album Chart, number 3 on the Billboard World Albums Chart, and number 22 on the Billboard Heat Seekers Albums Chart while Bonnie and Clyde entered Billboard's World Digital Songs chart at number 12. The album received good reviews. Billboard K-Town columnist Jeff Benjamin said that the album was an impressive debut creatively that pushes R&B ahead into the future with its compositions and collaborations, notably the woozy pour-up featuring Zico of Block B, the W-E-E-K-N-D recalling 21 and What To Do With Korean R&B star crush and L.A. singer Jeff Burnett. In April, he was featured in Vogue Korea's monthly issue with Club Eskimo, an informal group of artists he has performed with in South Korea's underground clubs. On May 28, he performed at the Seoul Jazz Festival. On June 3, 
He appeared on Yu Yeol's sketchbook for a second time, this time performing his single D, Half Moon, in John Legend's Ordinary People. Returning to the U.S. for a tour, his New York City debut concert at the legendary Copacabana sold out tickets for June 4, 2016. The city stop included a pre-party concert the prior night, and a meet and greet on concert day. The venue was changed due to technical difficulties, but he performed eight of his songs at Flash Factory at a concert billboard K-Town called Stunning. In an interview with Fuse, he said that writing his own songs to fit his voice helps to distinguish his performances. On June 24 he featured on tie-in single Starlight from the album Y and also appeared in the song's music video. On July 10 he joined her as a special guest at her tie-in Butterfly Kiss concert, and performed the duet, which topped major TV music shows on Friday of the same week. At Conla 2016, July 2016. On July 23rd, he performed at the Jason Valley Rock Festival, which included a duet with Zico. On July 26, he was featured on an Asian content platform, 88 Rising, which is based in New York, and called the R&B Prince of Asia. On July 29, at KCON Los Angeles 2016, he performed at Club KCON at the Nova with Amber. And on July 30, on the Staples Center main stage, he sang Bonnie and Clyde and I'm Not Sorry, and later joined Zico on a collaboration special of Pour Up. He was listed as one of the K-pop artists you should know from KCONNY in LA, by USA Today's Hoi Tran B, who said Los Angeles is getting their own honey-voiced R&B artist with Dean, whose sultry tunes are a shade darker than the more mellow crush. On August 6, he performed at the Skydome in Quezon City, Dean, the Philippine promo tour and said, in a pre-concert press conference, I am very happy and excited because I know Filipino rebels, fans, know how to speak English so they are going to enjoy the songs since they understand English very well. He also said, my favorite song in TRBL is 21 because it is hybrid, which means a collaboration of several genres in one song. On August 14, he performed at the Soul Soul Festival, SSF 2016, alongside Jeff Burnett and Crush. On August 16, Jumba's music group CEO Heek Shin interviewed with Yon Hap in Seoul, and spoke about Dean's successful debut with his agency, and his hopes for the diversification of K-pop. In late August, he prepared two tracks for a September 2nd appearance as producer on the Unpretty Rap Star 3 show where contestants would use the tracks in the rap competition. On September 10, he performed for the first time in Malaysia at the My FM Dare Dare Come 2.0 Roadshow at the Sunway Pyramid in Selangor and met with fans. On September 11, he held a showcase performance at the Gurney Paragon in Penang and was scheduled to appear at the September 12 Malaysian Music Awards, AIM 2016 at the Sunway Putra Hotel in Kuala Lumpur. In October, he was nominated in two categories from the Asian Music Awards 2016. At Asian Music Award for Song of the Year and Best Vocal Performance Male Solo for his song D, Half Moon, featuring Geiko. On November 1, he was included in a Time report about K-pop artists who are attempting to enter the mainstream American market, along with CL and Eric Nam. It stated that he had taken an unusual route by debuting first in the U.S., then building his fan base with smaller local performances around the country. Video footage showed him performing at KCON La, NYC, Chicago and SXSW Austin. During the interview, he said, I like mixing alternative, futuristic and experimental elements into my music. First I was really influenced by American pop music, so when I received an offer to make music here in the US, I was curious, I wanted to know how American audiences would react to my music. He continued, to be honest. The challenge is that, America is a huge country with many different cultures and many talented artists. It'll be difficult to distinguish myself in this field, and I know that it'll take a very long time. Also, in November, he collaborated on a single and music video with Zico and Crush, Bermuda Triangle, which they performed at the Net Asian Music Awards 2016 show on December 2, after appearing together at the pre-event press conference. On December 6, the song debuted on Billboard's World Digital Songs chart at number 3, making it the highest position he had received on the chart.
Bonnie and Clyde having previously charted at number 12, and Tyan's Starlight, which he featured on, charted at number 6 on the same date, he placed for the first time on two overall popularity charts. He and his song D, Half Moon, featuring Geiko debuted at number 2 on the Billboard Twitter Emerging Artists chart and a song at number 33 on the Billboard Twitter Top Tracks chart. On December 11, Bermuda Triangle won the weekly competition on the Inkagayo Music Show. On December 22, 2016, his EP 130 Mood, TRBL was number 5 on Billboard K-Town's Critics' Choice list of 10 Best K-Pop Albums of 2016 Inches. Two songs that he featured on were on their 20 Best K-Pop Songs of 2016 Inches list, Zico's Bermuda Triangle, also featuring Crush, at number 1, and Heise's Shut Up and Groove at number 9. 2017, Single Limbo, Love, FT. Sid, and Show Me the Money 6, on February 9, he released a preview video of his first solo work in 11 months, a single limbo, whose hand-painted imagery seemed to be sucked into limbo, reflecting the title. The single, a genre fusion that combined jazz and R&B, was released on February 17 with two tracks, Come Over featuring Bak Yirin, and The Unknown Guest. Come Over, the title track, an upbeat reminiscence of a past relationship quickly rose to the top of several South Korean music charts. The accompanying music video was created and directed by artist Seong Lib, who had also worked with Shani. In April, he was scheduled for a first-time appearance as a producer on the hip-hop audition show Show Me The Money 6, along with fellow artist Zico. In June, he performed in London where tickets sold out in three minutes. In August, Britain's Miss Vogue named the 24-year-old on their list of the 50 fittest boys of 2017 inches along with his Instagram user link, and said, he's currently the most hyped act in his native South Korea. The list included, among others, Justin Bieber, Harry Styles, Zayn Malik, and South Koreans Jang Sung-hoon and Nam Joo Hyuk. Discography, main article, Dean, South Korean singer, discography, extended plays. 130 Mood, TRBL, 2016, Awards and Nominations, Year Award Category, 2016 13th Korean Music Awards Best R&B and Soul Song Pour Up, Melon Music Awards Best Dance Song D, Half Moon, 18th Minute Asian Music Awards Best Vocal Performance Male Solo Himself, Song of the Year D, Half Moon, 2017 6th Gion Chart Music Awards Discovery of the Year, R&B Himself, Korean Hip Hop Awards Artist of the Year himself, Album of the Year 130 Mood, TRBL, R and B Track of the Year D, Half Moon, Collaboration of the Year Bermuda Triangle, Collaboration of the Year and July, 14th Korean Music Awards Best R&B and Soul Album 130 Mood, TRBL, Best R&B and Soul Song 21 Nominated, 19th Minute Asian Music Awards Best Hip Hop and Urban Music Come Over Pending. Song of the Year Pending S and South Korean debut, Dean debuted in the United States in July 2015 with the single I'm Not Sorry featuring Grammy winner Eric Bellinger. This set him apart from other Korean singers who had collaborated with American artists, the vast majority of which began their careers in Korea. Fact UK magazine's Claire Lowenfeld subsequently referred to his work with Bellinger, when listing him as an R&B artist to <music> The Truth About Singer Dean Kwon Heek, Kwon Heek Born November 10, 1992, better known by his stage name Dean, is a South Korean alternative R&B singer-songwriter and record producer. He has released one solo EP, 130 Mood, TRBL, as well as multiple collaborations with both American and South Korean artists. Life and Career Early Life and Career Kwon Heek was born and raised in Hongundong, Seoul. He developed an interest in American hip-hop and rap in middle school, and began singing in high school. At that time, he considered music as an escape from studying, rather than an occupation. 
he initially wrote songs in his room, which he kept secret from his parents at first, signifying his desire to make a viral impact on the music industry. At the age of 20, he was under the tutelage of Joomla's music group CEO and producer Heek Shin, employed with the songwriting team of the Los Angeles-based company whose works include EXO's Growl and Justin Bieber's One Less Lonely Girl. He was credited on tracks including EXO's Black Pearl and VIXX's Voodoo Doll. 2015, U.S. Although he was the first musician in his family, his parents enjoyed music and supported his decision to become an artist. He began his career at the age of 16, performing with hip-hop artist Keith Ate by 18. He was writing tracks for K-pop stars, under the name Deinfluenza. The name originated from actor James Dean, whose rebellious image appealed to him, and the word influenza 